And sorry, Lex, this is going to hurt again. It's your like, office job can cause this. It's uh, your lifestyle. This guy. Okay. Oh, wow. Fuck that. Ah, that's a nut. Damn. Ooh. Ugh. See, look at this. This is tight, Lex, man. Oh, God. Your whole body by music. <laughs> Jesus. Today is an exciting day. It has been many, many months, but we are finally back. And we're finally... We're finally back with the worst pain series. The sun is shining. It's summertime in Britain. So we're here today at Mitchell Ram, which translates into pain. Now, if you haven't watched the series before, make sure to check out the previous videos. But what we're going to look to do in this entire series is work with a professional sports masseuse to go a little deeper and a little further than most will do. This is going to be based on trigger point therapy, and it's getting to the root causes and fixes of common problems from lower back pain, shoulder pain, frozen shoulders, bad squats, bad knees, bad ankles, bad mobility, general pain and suffering. So let's go meet the new face, the new kid on the block that's going to help us get better. So here he is. This is my man. He's the person that's going to put me through a torturous time week after week, <laughs> episode after episode. Introduce yourself. So. Hello, I'm Mitchell Ram. La. So I do a lot of deep tissue sports massage therapy, straight from a mobility assessment, all the deep tissue work, sports therapy, and you get given homework to do as well. I didn't agree to homework. And homework. We have to do the homework, Lex. If we don't do this stuff, it will come back, so I will expose all your weaknesses. All your weaknesses. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna see if we can see the knowledge through your eyeballs. We're gonna find what's wrong. We're gonna fix what's wrong. Knowledge. Yeah. And then we're gonna show the people at home how to do things at home for yeah. free to keep the things from coming back. So we would use Lex as a dummy. And yeah. Poke. We create a lot of ouches. But we'll see what happens. So right now we're going to do an MOT test, aren't we? Yeah. He's going to have a look at me and decipher what is initially apparent that's going to be wrong. But I'm going to do a little thing. We're going to come out here for a second. Here's what I know. I got pelvic tilt. We had issues with the scapula in the shoulder. And we also know that we have a lazy left glute. That glute mead wasn't firing properly. We know we have damage to the feet, which if a lot of you watched this series before, you've seen it. A crazy video that's had millions and millions of views. We're going to be coming back for a part two of that. Don't worry. Let's see if Mitch can find these problems initially. But I have a fear he's going to find quite a few more. Should we do the test then? MOT. Human yeah. MOT. Right, we're on the wide angle so you guys can see yeah. basically what I should be able to do and then we're going to see why I can't go. So this is an assessment. If you can't get off the floor, your class is old. You should be able to stand up by using your hands. So first of all, we do a basic sit-up. So you've got basic core strength. Then from here, Mobility from the hips looks, so we go 90-90. Then from here, you bring your ankles in, and this is when we turn our glutes on. So if your glutes ain't working properly, you can't do this. Or if you're pushed over too far, you can't do this. So we're here, up, onto our knees. Then from here, look, mobility from the hip, and then stand up. In reverse, watch, boom, boom, round, up, here. It's not about your age, it's about the body. Boom, that's it. And rotate your knees to the side. And just let your knees come to the left. That's it. Good. Yeah. So watch what's happening to his body. Oh. It's getting pushed over there. Oh, okay? Yeah. yeah. So we've got to tighten this up in here now. All oh, this here starts to move. We don't want that. We should just be here, up like this. You're getting pushed over here, Lex. Yeah. So what's happening is tightness, hip flexor, glute med. Because what did I say outside the store? And he's already seen it just from watching yeah. me move. So that's one pass for... Go up like this. A little bit of a struggle. Then here, so it's mobility from the hip. Then we stand up. Good. So strength, pass, slight tightness in the hip. Youthfulness. So that means QL is going to be a little bit tight. If you ever hear a sports artist going, oh, we're going to go into QL, what it stands for is hell fire. So I just want you to go into reverse now. Reverse lunge. Yeah. Watch that back leg, scoop it in. Do what? So you got mobility from your hip. Come no. In. Right leg, lift it up. Round onto okay. here. My kneecap. Look. Oh, I'm taking the skin off. <coughs> Skin off no, the knees. <laughs> that's how sh shredded, shredded knees. Wait, no, it's bony knees. That's the problem. Good for that. Reverse, Reverse. lunge. Spin that round. Bring this one round. Down. We're coming round. This guy. <laughs> Lex's hips are bad. Right, so basic mobility through the shoulder. Arms relax and just raise them up like this. Okay. And go past your ear. You don't want this to happen. All this start to move here. Yeah. There's a bit of tight, you can feel that there. Oh, like so a brick. 
and I'm having to fight it wanting to do this. Yes. That's bad, because yeah. I end up with this position. So these get tight, and if these are weak, that means we get an anterior pelvic tilt. Point two. Yep. Tight lower back, again, pulls it in, and the hips as well get tight. This is all shortened, this we get yep. pain in your lower back. So what does that mean? Our glutes Duh. are weak, and the core as well. So we train the core, watch what it says. So nice strong core, boom. Nice strong glutes, boom. Boom. So if you've got a weakness in your glute med, I'll explain what's going on. So you've got to imagine the glute med, is a stabiliser of the knee. So knee pain, so if we press up and this is weak, the knee will come in and that can really put damage on the knee. So if we tighten up this glute med, we can then move without this moving here. So do about a quarter squat, so you're inside the quads, let the knees come forward. The further the knee comes forward, the more stress on the glute med. You squeeze both glutes, go into one leg, stabilise, and you'll feel it turn on. And you'll swap. Get ready to catch me. Pop my calves to prove I've got some. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, body down to right leg, lift. That's brilliant. Good. Okay. Okay, now shift. Yeah. Now swap. See, see that oh. there? That's the glute me trying to. It's not damaged, but it's weak. Because oh, that's causing the lower back pain. Lower back and glute as well. Here's how we're going to run these we've got one camera. Hang on. One camera, two camera. Ooh. Not only that, <laughs> <laughs> we thought it'd be fun to give you guys a different viewpoint. So we have a GoPro on a chest harness. Hello. Big nose. Mitch is going to wear this so that you can literally see his hands doing the work and him pointing out what he needs to see. And we'll flip between the cameras so that you guys can get many different views. POV of me. That's not short for... No, no, no. <laughs> You need him the nuts in there. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is just poke around, see what's going on. These are trigger points. Yeah. So we'll press them, okay? If they're trigger points, we try and starve that area of oxygen so we can release, okay? The pain should sort of disappear. That means there's a spasm in the muscle. If they're not trigger points, if they're chronic or they've been there for quite a while, your muscle does this when it contracts and stretches. And then after trauma or repetitive use, it can get a knot and that's an adhesion. Okay. And then we have to do is break these apart. I can only see from his back, it's gonna be tight because the mass here. Come on. Okay. Oh, I did it again. I nearly took your nuts yeah, out again. Just whack this on. So here is the QR. And then his last rib it attached into. So when we go to here, watch. And we press in. Okay. <laughs> Scale of one to ten left. What have we got? I wasn't ready. Okay. Hang on. So this is a big okay. problem for a lot of people who train. Do it again, I'll do the okay, one to ten. So look. Around a little bit. Boom. Oh, that's about a six. And then we, we move up close to the origin. So find the rib. Boom. Oh, that's seven. Yeah. Okay, so see how tight these are. And we go a little bit lower. You find where the issue is. This is not now where the inserts. Boom. Oh. How's that? Like a higher, so yeah. here. Okay, so these are like bricks. <laughs> they feel bad. Jesus Christ. Tight QL normally means this isn't working properly, or he's lifting with his back rather than using his glutes. That's 100% what I'm doing. Yeah? Yeah. 100%. Okay, so this is, explains all these. These are overdeveloped, getting beat up, and because they're getting tight, you can really see the curve here, anterior pelvic tilt. So this is where the piriformis is. A lot of sciatic pain comes from here. So the sciatic nerve runs down the leg. So we press in around here. Is that okay? Yeah. Good, so oh, well, I was ready for pain then. Is that one okay there? Oh, it's so going to be worse. Move down. Yeah. And then down. Is that okay? Oh, no. That's all right. We move around. Oh. And if there's not much sensation, we try the elbow. Deep breaths in. Boom. How is that? Oh, it's all right. Okay. I have been working on my mechanics of my glute though. Brilliant. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stretch it and shorten it whilst pressing onto it. Any pain? Same, same. Good. The glute meter isn't as tight, but it's weak. So the main issue is the QR. If this starts to do its job, we can take the pressure off here. I don't know. So we let his muscle relax. We've got to starve it of oxygen as well, so we can reduce some tension in here. That's good. So these are tight as well, down here. Yeah. There's a lot of lactic acid build up in these, because they're quite puffy. It means you're training well, but they're just very puffy. These will come down a bit. So it's going to do a deep breath in for me. Okay. And out. Deep breaths in. And out. That was good. Deep breaths in. And out. Is it crack a little bit then? Yeah. Yeah, good. 
So now, we're going to do all the left sides. Got to check behind your shoulder blade as well. With upper back tightness, which I can feel. Yeah. A lot of people get that, what from, like, you know, if you do too many press-ups and stuff. Yeah, so your rhomboid's getting tight. Um, so your rhomboid's will pin your scapula together, so your shoulder blades. Watch this now. Deep breaths yeah. in. And out. <sighs> this is where his issue is, so it's like the bunch up. So what he would lose now is mobility in his thoracic spine. Hopefully after this, you might see his left side is lower than his right into the trap and the rhomboids. Oh. So the rhomboids are quite deep, so I'll show you a technique to get into those. Oh. A good old elbow, okay? Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, I didn't breathe. Jesus. Oh. oh, it's nice at the top. It's horrendous yeah. in that middle you bit. See, that's where your issue is there. Yeah. So we've got improved mobility here. Oh. So here's his scap. Yeah. So it attaches it up into your head, right down into the top of the scap. And when you get like a raised shoulder, so what shall I find it? Ah! Yeah? Yeah. And then what oh. you can do is pinch it like this. Yeah, that sucks. These are bad, legs. <laughs> Jeez. Are they bad or are they just awesomely massive? So watch, I'm going to show you now, look, how to get into these rhomboids. This is where it's going to be tight. Uh. So you're going to bring this wrist behind your back. Again, it'll have tightness up in here. Yeah. Oh, that so sucks. See that there? Yeah. Okay, is this your injured one? Or is it this yes, one? well, this is the one uh, I had all the... Yeah, the, so all I had bicep tendinitis and also <laughs> I fucked up the rotator cuff years ago. So here's his scap here. Rotator cuff muscles that attach on the scap and go into the top of the humerus. And then here's the rhomboids. Oh, I already know he's going to be bad. <laughs> so we go into here. Ah! Here's his rhomboids. Yeah. They attach on the edge of the scap right in. Oh. Yep, that sucks. See that there, it all moves oh, there. That, that hurts up to my ear ball. Yep. <laughs> You've got your traps as well, run up here, and there's a bit of scat, so all this muscle here is all stuck together. So now what we're going to do now, look, is pull the scap off and mobilise it a little bit. You may get a little bit of pain, you may not, okay? Mm. So watch. Any pain there? No. You see his whole body moves with it, though. Yeah. See, is that breaking up now, it's good. Should my whole body not move with it? <laughs> well, we should move on its own, but oh, okay. your whole body, body moves with it. <laughs> So there's not much mobility, it's probably got a lot of mass here as well, but see, there we go, it's moving now. Yeah. You have to be careful doing this because you can do an opposite effect in injury. You don't go too far with this movement. Relax your arms slowly. Oh. So just the difference already. This is quite spongy now. This here. Oh, ow. I feel like the right side might be worse. Again, he's got issues up in his trap. You've got a rotator cuff at the top, so here's your scap. Yeah. There's a thing here called your spine of your scap, so here, this bone here. So you've got your rotator cuff. It's called your supraspinatus. This helps with shoulder to raise it up. Attach to the top of the humerus, watch. Oh, that's not nice. Okay. Oh, it feels like you're poking bone. Is that supposed to be a muscle? Huh? Yes, yeah, so here's your spine and your scap here. Ah, uh, it's, it's going all the way down my arm. Yeah. Do you know why? No. Because this attaches into right at the top of the humerus and you've got some nerves around here as well which you press on. <sighs> Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, See, look at this. This is tight, oh, Lex, man. Is that bad? Come on, man. We've got to work on these. <laughs> then we go into his neck. This is where you get headaches as well. I was going to so say, yeah. Just going to move this around now. Oh, that's a bit like, you know, a pressure point. Yeah, so this goes to your head. Um, it will come off in a minute. Oh. See, people just think this is for sports. But it goes to all, like, it's your like, office job can cause this. It's uh, your lifestyle, poor lifestyle choices. Yeah. Even your diet as well. See how oh, tight this is here? Yeah, that's eased off so much. Good. Okay, so now, look, I'm going to get into his rotator. Oh, that doesn't feel nice. So straight away, you feel that there? Mm hmm So you've had an injury around here, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of trauma to the muscle. So these are called trigger points. So you press in like this. Oof. Mm. And you can ah. feel this radiate into the shoulder, at the front oh. of the shoulder. Is yeah. that eased up a bit? Yeah, see. So because it's eased up, it's a spasm. So you'll find out where the most pain is. Oh, oh, that's horrible. So remember this area is tight. You're going to get a bit of pain when you go to the rhomboids. Oh. See all this punching up. Bloody oh, hell. Ooh. See all twitching now. Oh, yeah. Is that firing off? Yeah. Nice. Oh. So this should feel a bit looser now compared to your right side, which we'll do in a minute. Step down here as well, so I press in. Yeah, that's away. worse. That's yeah. so much worse. So I had left side injury, which has caused right side compensation. Yes. Oh, thank God it's not that bad. Is that okay? Yeah. Basically, Lex has no ass, okay? <laughs> but he has a big back. All right. So he's got to attack this booty more now. It's still quite up. peachy. I'd like to point out. It's not that you don't train the I glutes. Just don't have a fruity booty. Yes, you're not. <laughs> Activating them properly. So this is all taking over. Right, so 
Let's get to this. So deep breaths in. Uh -huh. <coughs> let me know if it's too much. <coughs> Good. So this uh -huh. is where he gets, he's got the nose is tight. <gasps> see there? You see it move there? Yeah. You've got a right <coughs> adhesion in here. Let the so his right side is super tight compared to his left. Uh -huh. so this is what's tricky now. You have to try and get your elbow on top. Yeah. Right, see it slide, so because of the wax it makes it slide. Oh, so nasty. Oh, here we go, ready? So we're going to move into the trap and the rhomboids. Yeah, so it's definitely that QL. Yeah, so right down here is QL. Yeah. Oh, there, that fired. Oh, that's gone all the way down to my foot. Yes. Oh, okay, that's easing now. Yes. Do you see though how like a lower back pain can cause to go down right down your leg? This is now front hip flexors. Yes. Is releasing. I can feel them. Okay, so there's a muscle in your back called the psoas major. Yeah. yeah. This is your strongest hip flexor. It originates in the spine and goes over the front of the hip. Oof. So you see how it radiates down his body though, so you can get a pain in your quad, but it could be linked to your lower back. So you flush it, we're flushing out a lot of toxins there and breaking up that. Connective tissue. So I'm going to go in more direct now. So he's got a little bit of an adhesion up in here. So he's got a knot. Mm. There. Oh, yeah. Right there. Yeah. So it's like a little speed bump, this is. So I'm starv and I'm starving this area of oxygen. And that's forcing it to release? Yes. Because it, it stops it contracting. The spasm's slowly releasing. Okay, so now what we do is we push all that blood. So what we've noticed is left side is tightening his right. We're going to go up into the top now. Brilliant. So this side is overcompensating for this side. Bring, now we're going to go into the rhomboid, so bring this behind the back. Not as tight up in here. Yeah, it doesn't feel the yeah. tight at the front. So you can see that bunch up there. Get into his rhomboid here now, watch. There we go. These will always get tight. Oh, I can feel that all the way up into my right neck. Deep breaths in. And out. There we go. Yeah, good. Nice. Trigger points, yeah? What's brilliant is we've got nothing that's increasing the pain. So when you press on like this, it starts to dis 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 I'll just say release. It starts to release. <laughs> but again, what can help with this is mobility drills, stretching, especially after training. <sighs> Loosen off the rhomboids a little bit. Let's get into this scap now. Hand this hydrogen go. Yeah. So this one here already pops out more than his left. Get right behind it. Oh. When you're pressing there, it's like radiating down. This is a lot of pressure, by the way. Oh. Deep breaths in. And out. <sighs> I can't breathe out my nose anymore. Yeah, it's gone blocked. The best thing about getting your upper back massage is you feel amazing after. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's nasty. But these now, Lex, wow. Oh. Yeah, you should see these. These are coming right down. Before, these are bricks. Absolute bricks, these were. Okay, we're going to get to his rotator cuff here. Again, so this is the muscle that holds his shoulder, locks into that joint. So again, if you fall on your arm and you do stuff like this, you really, really damage these, and you don't want to damage these rotator cuffs. What about sleeping on it with your yeah. arm stuck out? Is that a bad thing? Yeah, because you, you're in this position and it's a stretch and you're putting a lot of weight on it. So this one wasn't, is this not the injured one? Yeah, no. So his arm just moves freely though, it's not stuck, which is good. Like if I do this, look, it just moves. Oh, nice. that was all right, fuck. Yeah, there you go. Ah. Deep breaths in, out. So going at the right at the top of the spine here. But these are good little pressure points if you get a headache is just to get some pressure up here and release. So we have rotator cuffs here. We have one inside. This is called the subscap, okay? Uh, so we have to get in that, into that from the side. Yup. This would be a good one now, Larry. <sighs> so he's got a lot of connective tissue stock. You'll see your arm drop and um, we get into this lat and behind here. Can I get some more wax? I feel like I'm in through the ringer. The left arm up over your head. What, like this? Yeah, and then let's let it hang like this. That's pretty good. But you see we've got a bit of a gap here. We want this arm to be flush here. Yeah, I can feel tightness here. Yes. But I want to get into this now here. So you'll see when I move this, his arm starts to move. So here's his lat, his intercostals, his serratus, his rear doubt, get into here as well. Yeah. And you'll see his arm now, his, his bicep will probably end up touching his head. Flappy. See, it's bouncing though, look. So we've got a bit of restriction here. So I do this, watch his arm move here. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> but these are uh, responsible see, see. for the, the mobility the over the overhead as well. Yeah. So tight lats can cause you to have um, poor mobility in your shoulder overhead. Deep breaths in and out. So grab all this here now, and then we're gonna do is a lat pull down for me. So pull that down, up over your head. Go down, Oof. up over your head. It's like you're nipping me. 
Good. Look at that now. Oh, yeah. See, it's touching your head. Yeah. Yeah? Instant. So we've just released all this up in here. So, and the tricep, what should we drop this down? Oh. So these are quite tight. And then extend it out. Oh. Do that again. Oh. Relax. Good. Again, arm over your head. The same arm. Yeah. Now. See that? <laughs> Flopped into my head. So we've improved the range of motion here just from a bit of soft tissue release, which is brilliant. Any Ooh, pain there? No, it's alright. Brilliant, good. Okay. Oh wow, flop there. Ah, that's a nut. Damn. Ooh, it's like a pebble. That's a big boy. I can eyes. see it moving on the yeah. screen. It's like there, look. That shouldn't be the case. <laughs> so it looks like it's been there for a while for the size of it. Ooh. So what is that? Huh? What is that? It's a massive adhesion. This is a big knot. Down. Wow, go again. <sighs> you can feel it move under my fingers. So what we're doing now is we're re-sculpting this. We're trying to break it down a bit. And then extend. Good. <sighs> right, so we go. Straighten out again. And relax. <sighs> Good. <sighs> Look at his arm now. So bring your arm back down here. So watch <sighs> this. You may get a little bit in tightness here, which is fine. Just yeah. Arm up over your head. Boom. That's insane. Okay, so now we've, we've just opened up all this area here. You can get into the intercostals and the serrators here. This isn't nice to massage. No, it's like popcorns, yeah. pops, isn't it? Oh. Good, and then, and sorry Lex, this is gonna hurt again. The QL, back in ah. here. Ooh. Okay, so now what he does is raises that knee up for me, and come back down. Good. Raise up, <sighs> come back down. Is that easy enough? Yeah. Good, nice. It's actually making my lower abs not want to well, my pelvis do not want to tilt anymore. Yeah, and then relax. Nice. That's good. good. Okay, so now we've seen his left side. Oh, Let's go to the right. Quick. Yes, he sees no balance here, which is yeah. good. So I can't control it as much because it's nice and, nice and mobile. Okay, let's do a lap pull down. Over your head. Nice. <laughs> I feel like you only see a cat getting its belly rubbed. <laughs> <laughs> so look. I can get right inside this, which is good. Yeah. It's not all stuck together. If it's like this, it's solid. Oh, where you were there, so. Yeah, so, as well, see, I'm assuming your chest is going to be super tight. Yeah. So we'll save that. Yeah. For your next video. Next video. Deep what? breaths in. And out. Good, let's get into this QR. Oh, well, that's fine. Three, two, one. <sighs> Boom. Ooh, false sense of security. Rib. <laughs> Oh, well, okay, raise that right leg up for me. Mm. And back down. Good. Up. And back down. Oh. Good. Up. Back down and relax. Oh. There we go. Brilliant. So this, is, this one's way more mobile than your left. So you can see the difference because that's when you had your injury. Brilliant, Lex. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to retest his mobility now at the end. Oh. Yeah, and then we're we'll giving him some mobility homework to do and stretches. I'm ready to be tested. And then raise your arms up in the air for me. As far back as you can go. See, there's no much restriction. These are better now. But you see your spine now. Oh, yeah, you can tell. All this yeah. was out here before. Plus, low is better. Try and touch your toes for me. Just so we see the curvature of the spine. So, see, look at this. It's perfect. So now he's got a very, very nice curve coming down here. Sometimes it goes straight and then down. And then we've got loads of tightness here. But this now is coming. So these, these muscles here are now more mobile and flexible. Brilliant. But you had, now you had that big bulge here. Yeah. That's gone. I've got no knot in the middle of my back anymore. This just goes to show that when you go in somewhere, you think you've got an issue in one place as a causality, it turns out it's a whole different place, which is what we found out today. Yeah. But there's always homework to do, so let's crack on with that. Homework number one. Well, so the first one is, what you're gonna do is arms out like a wing. So this will crack your back, which is brilliant. This is good for the morning, and after you've been stood or sat for a while. What next we'll do is lift his right leg up, and then try and touch your hand. <laughs> which, which you won't. This is a good indicator of what's going on. Oh, brilliant. There we go, good. Go over and fast. Tap that, there we go. And you'll see, crack. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Nice. So you do these. This side's way easier. Yeah. The back stops there. Yeah, you see the difference, so stay there. You can get tightness here and tightness in his mead. IT band is a little bit tight as well. Yeah. So you do 20 each side, oh, and you'll just get faster. Now oh, you look. can just tap, tap. We're, we're creating dynamic movement. We're getting blood flow to the area, waking up the spine. Absolutely brilliant before training. Okay? Yeah. Good. Okay, so what you do now, look. Arms out like a wing. Go into your tiptoes, knees together, and you just rock left and right. Touch the floor. Yeah, good. Again, so we're, oh. we're moving that lower back. That's like all. Yeah. Back. Okay, brilliant, good. Oh. Nice. 
There we go. Okay, it's like a scorpion's tail. So you're gonna go the same. So your hands are out wide. Yeah. And then your back leg, any leg will come over and try and touch your hand. <laughs> so you see here, look, we're gonna mobilize here. Let's go up round. Hold the position. So we stretch all the obliques as well. The lat gets stretched as well. <laughs> Lower back and the hip flexor. Okay, but we're gonna return to a movement now. Brilliant. There we go. Ooh. That's it. Ooh. So you've been quite rigid here, showing how immobile and how tight your hips are oh, and yeah. your lower back. And then relax. Good. So that's lower back. Now lift your toes up for me, but keep your heels on the floor. Yeah. And then from here, just turn your knees so they touch the floor. Just toes up. Here we go. Check out my... Look at that. So if he works on that... Like a yeah, you see your back though? It's trying to twist. It's going yeah. to swap over. Look at the difference. That just stops there. Yeah. Wants to stop like... Okay, so these do these daily, honestly, you'll see a massive difference. Oh, Brilliant. Next one. So from here, your right leg, bring it, wrap it around your body. Yeah, there we go. So that's good. But just look at his... You see, I'm, I'm pushing Yeah, so you're getting lean, you're getting pushed over. So now, try and lift up your hips. Let's go. Just... Squeeze, there you go, back down. And then down. Now think about Lex, is squeezing your glutes. Yeah, I felt that. Squeeze, good, this activates him now. Burning already. Yeah, okay. Ooh. So you just do a few of these and swap over now, swap leg. Is that one easier? Yeah, but I can feel it on my left glute still. Okay. it's so tight down at the base. Yeah. If you yeah. keep this up, Lex, your yeah. hips will get more mobile and you'll be able to contract your glutes easier. Feet in closer. Now really pull that band up. Yeah. Good. Get your knees inside the band and push your knees into the band. That's it. Yeah. Do a quarter squat for me. Squeeze your bum. Oh, God. Left glute. Yeah, there we go. Now, now let's go towards the left. Oh, that burns. Yeah, there we go. Holy moly. Oh. <laughs> We've had a little bit of resistance, got it actually working, and it's already burning. My butt is hurting, dude. Oh. Okay, so we've really woken that up now. Yeah, okay. that's like fully awake. Okay. That's so mad how we thought we were going to have to go into the glute. The glute didn't turn out to be a problem. It was all yeah. upper back. So you just, this is this is why you need to go and see professionals to actually let them manipulate, poke. And yeah. hurt you a little bit. Shit should hurt. If it is not hurting yeah. and you're having issues doing daily activities yeah. and then when you go to the massage and it doesn't hurt, do you not think that maybe they're not getting it? To prolong the career, this is the stuff you don't see. Like you'll see athletes on TV, Lex, train all the time, okay? But to prolong that, you, they're doing all this stuff behind the scenes. If you train regularly, if you do something regularly, you're going to get impingement. Yeah. It's still burning. <laughs> but we've seen in one single session, just, yeah. You know, the yeah. difference has been mad. So check out Mitchell Ram with the Sports Massage Therapy. All his links will be in the description. This is our new torture, man. This is our new torture chamber. We are back, the worst pain series. Let us know what you want to see in the comments. Let us know yeah. if you've liked this. We're going to get some videographers in to help with a bit more of the maneuverability of it as we go along. I hope you've liked the fact that we're back. So show us some love, share it with somebody who needs to know it. Uh, comment what you want to see, and we'll catch you in the next one where I'll be able to be <laughs> <laughs>